So let's go ahead and get started. There are a couple of different ways you can um, create a, a Google Slideshow. You could go to the Google Slides homepage by going to slides.google.com or clicking the waffle and clicking slides. You could also create a slideshow from Google Drive. And this is actually the way I'm going to do it for this video. Um, I would like this slideshow to live in my Google Drive resources folder. And so I open that folder and I'm going to click new Google slideshow. And this is a shared folder. Yes, I want to share this slideshow. Okay, so that's skill number one, create a slideshow. They like to give you updates and um, things when you open slides for the first time after they've updated something. Okay, um, so I, you can see that I need to title my presentation or slideshow right away. And this is going to be my presentation on digital citizenship at an upcoming staff meeting. Um, because we are working on this as a school for our students. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, create a title slide. Okay, and I'm going to put my name. Okay, and leave it at that. Um, I have my themes that popped up for me. This is a may do, activi uh, may do skill, but just I'm going to make it our, my slideshow look a little nicer and choose a, a quick theme. It just feels so nice to have a theme on there. So I'll cover that again in the may do skills. Okay, so we've created a slide. I made my title slide or we've created a slideshow and I've titled my slideshow and made my title slide. So the next skill that you must know for the level one exam is how to add a slide to your slideshow. I'm gonna go ahead and X out of my themes and I'm gonna come over to this plus. You can see that I can just click the plus and a new slide um, and Google just chooses the format it thinks I want um, or I'm gonna undo that. I wanna show you this nice little shark tooth. You should always explore these in Google. They give you more options. If I click that, you can see all of the different slide formats that I could quickly and easily insert. Um, there are so many options. And so for this next slide, I'm going to insert a video onto it. So I want a blank space with just a caption, a place for me to type a quick text about this video. So that's the format that I chose um, for this slide. Um, so I'll go ahead and add my caption now, do it a little backwards, but this is a video about digital citizenship because the next skill I'm showing you is how to insert a video onto a slide. I'm gonna make this a little bigger um, and now I'm ready to insert a video. So to insert a video in Google Slides, you have a couple of options. I'm gonna come up to the insert menu I'm going to click on video. Now you can see I can search YouTube right here from Google Slides, which is always a really nice option working with students so that they don't get lost into the rabbit hole of YouTube itself. Keep them where you need them. The slideshow search right from here. Let's say you have a URL um, or a, a web address to a video already, a YouTube video. Well, you can paste that YouTube URL right here or you can find videos from your Google Drive and insert them so that they are embedded on your slideshow. Super cool option. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna search digital citizenship in YouTube right from Google Slides, okay? And I can see that a few different options pop up. And if I look at the web addresses, I can see right away, um, I love commonsense.org. Um, this is a video that I have watched all the way through in the past. You always wanna make sure you watch every video to the last second, and I've watched this before. I'd like to select this video. I clicked on it and I clicked select, and here it is embedded into my slideshow, okay? And sometimes it can cause confusion um, that when you're in edit mode of a slideshow, you can't get your video to play and all of that. Um, but when you are in present mode um, or if I click out of my format options, um, when, you, when you are presenting your slideshow um, or when you send the published version, the video does play. Okay, So that is important to 
note. Just quickly, um, I'd like to show you how to insert using uh, the link from YouTube. So if I go to insert video and I have this option by URL, um, just so that you know how to do that, how that's different. Let's say the video wasn't coming up in the Google Slides YouTube search. You just could not find it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to YouTube itself, search digital citizenship. And if I click on this video, um, I can um, copy the link straight to this video by going to the share button and clicking copy. And then I can come back and paste that link into the box and now um, I found the video. So just two different ways. If, if for some reason the right video isn't coming up um, in the search option within Google Slides, if you go to YouTube itself, you can take the link from any video and paste it um, in the insert option for Google Drive and get it in there pretty easily, okay? So now, um, this is a collaborative slideshow. It lives in a collaborative folder, my Google Drive resources folder. Everything in this folder is shared uh, with my colleague, Amanda. And I want her feedback on this video. Does she think that this is a good way to open up our presentation on digital citizenship? Well, let's find out. So I wanna insert a comment. And I'll, we looked at um, inserting comments in docs where you highlight text um, and insert the comment. In Google Slides, a lot of times your comment is attached to a video, an image, a shape, or something like that. So instead of clicking on text, I have the video um, highlighted or, or selected. And then I can go to insert comment, and I might say at Amanda, and click on her email address. I might say, what do you think about this way, okay? And I can assign it to her or not. It becomes a to-do for her to check off um, if I assign it to her. So I didn't the last time I did this. So this time um, I am going to click assign to Amanda um, and she will be notified that she's responsible for marking this done. And she will also get that email notification. So I'm gonna go ahead and click assign and I've tagged her and I've commented. In this video, we're going to explore the Explore tool in Slides. The link to this uh, slide deck is in the email, so if you want to follow along and utilize it to practice, you can, or feel free to open up a fresh, brand new uh, Google Slide document so you can play along. So the Explore tool has been around for a couple of years. It replaced the old research tool that Google had uh, across the Google Workspace application suite. And you can find it in a couple of places. The first place you can see, which is where I typically gravitate towards, is down in the bottom right. Um, the little icon and the button will pop up, and when you tap the Explore tool, it'll open up a right side menu. You can also find it under Tools and Explore. And this is consistent across most of the Google Workspace applications. The Explore tool is in Docs, Slides, and Sheets. So what can we do with the Explore tool? The first thing we're going to do is look up websites. This works in uh, slides and docs. It's a great way for students to start their research. It allows them to uh, do a preliminary search inside the document that they're working on before they start opening up a bunch of tabs or going straight to Google. So we're going to be looking up panda bears. So we're going to do Explore and uh, it's gonna offer some layouts right away based on the content that's on my slide, but I'm gonna use this search button up here. So I'm gonna tap here, I'm gonna type the word panda or whatever search you're looking for. It's gonna do a cloud search first. It's gonna look for anything that's in your drive or anything that's connected to you that has that name in it. Uh, what we wanna do is actually go to web. So we're gonna go to web. Here are a bunch of Google search results for the word panda. So we can scroll down, find an article that we like, and when we click on the link, it will open to a new tab. So then the students can go through, get the information they need, and then come back here to the slide.
the next feature we're going to use with the Explore tool is adding images. So same place, we've opened up our Explore tool, and this time, instead of looking under Web, we're going to look under Images. Make sure a word is typed, and then all of your images will appear. There's two ways that you can add images. You can click the image, it'll open up a larger uh, preview version of the image, and then you can click Insert or you can click the plus button in the top right hand corner as you hover on top of the images. What's great about these particular images is they will add into your document and then they will also automatically link to the source of that image. So it makes it really easy for students to build their work cited later because every image um, has been linked to its original site. All of these images are also um, copyright available for your students to use. The last feature is using Explore to make slides look pretty. We can utilize the Explore tool to make designing our slides really simply. To show you how to do this, I'm actually going to add another empty slide here. I'm going to add a few pictures and then I am going to grab just some text here from this website. So you can kind of see what happens once I start adding text and pictures, right? Now, when I click the back arrow on my Explorer, this is kind of my main Explore page. When you first open up Explore, this is what you see. You're going to see all of my pictures and my text are kind of formatted for me into these different images. And then if students want to see, well, what would it look like if I only had one picture? They can delete images and the layouts will change. So if I only want this little sleeping panda, then I get a different layout option. So they can kind of work through these to get uh, the one that they find the most compelling or the most attractive. I think that is beautiful and I would have never thought to do it that way with the overlay and the translucent box here. So it allows them to up their skills with layouts without spending a lot of technical creative energy to do so. We hope you have fun showing your students the Explore tool.